I spoke about the talks with Bulent Alariza. He is the director of the Turkey Project at the Center for Strategic and International Studies here in Washington. He weighed in on the roles regional players can play in this crisis. It was Russia and Turkey. Even though Turkey is a, uh, an ally of the United States and has been trying to work with the United States on Syria and the other Western powers for so long, what happened is that uh, Turkey essentially switched uh, its policies on Syria, began to cooperate with Russia, that was uh, backing Assad uh, and the Assad regime that uh, Turkey, together with the Western powers, wanted to oust. And what we got uh, is this conference where essentially what happened is that the Russian government delivered uh, Syria and the Turkish government delivered the opposition groups. Um, and the holding of it is more important, frankly, than uh, any possible result about which I'm skeptical. How Iran fits into the equation, uh, into the equation is, a, is a major question because, frankly, the Iranians and the Russians, even though they both backed uh, Damascus, uh, the regime in Damascus in this conflict, have different views. But uh, who gets left out of the process? The U.S. government. Speaking of differing views, uh, President uh, Trump has differing views from outgoing President Obama. He wants closer relations with Russia. What difference would that make in terms of coming up with a solution? Well, we'll see. Yeah, the, uh, you know, there were uh, interminable meetings between uh, the former Secretary of State uh, Kerry and the Russian Foreign Minister, whom you mentioned, Lavrov, who invited the Trump administration to join. Clearly, the Putin uh, 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 Trump relationship is going to be a major determinant of how the U.S. does get into this equation. There are obviously the Russians are more prepared to uh, uh, welcome the new administration than they uh, were with the previous administration. But again, there are major questions as to how Trump will see Syria compared to Obama and whether they will actually be more active in the peace process than the Obama administration was. Six uh, years, more than 300,000 dead, millions displaced. Um, we hear that both sides saying that they want to find a lasting solution. That's easier said than done. Where would you see a lasting solution? I mean, what, what, are, what are the requirements? How do you put that together? Well, the answer to that is I cannot see it. Uh, because if you look at the opening statements uh, that your reporter from Astana uh, uh, provided us, of the Syrian government and the opposition, there's no way on earth that they're going to reconcile the basic difference about uh, whether the Assad regime stays or goes. And the fact is that the Assad regime has stayed there because of Russia, and the Russians will want the Turks to force the opposition to accept the transitional arrangement where Assad stays. And that sounds like yeah. a continuation of the conflict.